might be wondering why we're not putting any form of filtration on here. Well, what we're trying to do is we're trying to create the best habitat for dragonflies that is possible. Yes, filtration would be a good idea, but when it's a dragonfly pool, you want to create a much better environment for the dragonflies. So having pumps and filtration, you have to be very careful on what forms. So you wouldn't want an open pump because the dragonfly larvae will get sucked up and be tried to be filtered. So that's a no-no, definitely no-no in a dragonfly dedicated pool. This particular pond, we're not gonna put any form of filtration on at all, apart from wetland filtration. There is gonna be a few leaves that go in there, but that's not a problem. We've basically sited the pond underneath the birch tree that only produce very small leaves and they're not too much of a problem. If you were, on the other hand, having them under a horse chestnut or an oak or a beech, then it would be a problem because they sit in the water for too long, but birch are fine. Next year, when the leaves start to fall, what we can actually do is we can put a net over the pond and it can be pitched. But if you check out some of the other videos about protecting your pond from a leaf scenario, on this particular one, we're not really worried about the leaves this year because the leaves will add compost and they will start to break down and it's great for the environment. This pond is gonna look so much better in a year to 18 months. This particular pool is gonna go through a few changes in the first six months. It might even go green. To some people that's alarming, big alarm bells and everything else. But for a dragonfly, that is an investment for the future because the invertebrates and everything that process the single cell algae all start from algae. So it's basically they, all the freshwater inverts, all the midges, all of the things that the dragonfly larvae eat all start with the algae. So we need to encourage the algae, but not too much that we have toxic conditions or a big algae bloom. It's very much a case of, it's all about balance. If you want fish, then you don't want this type of pond. This is a dragonfly pond. Dragonfly larvae do not want fish around because a lot of the big fish like koi will eat the dragonfly larvae. So you don't want to put fish in this sort of type of pond. In the UK, we're in Warwickshire. What fish, let's say you wanted fish, let's say Mark, I don't want just a dragonfly pond, I want fish in this pond. Then I would go for stickleback or minnows. Anything else is going to be competing for the dragonflies. If you want dragonflies, and a few fish, then stickleback and minnows are no problem at all. They're not going to create feces, they're not going to be very dirty fish, and they're going to complement and basically not outcompete the dragonfly larvae for food. So if you want fish, minnows and sticklebacks. If you want perfect ornamental pond, this is not the pond for you. If you want dragonflies, it's a big thumbs up.